Hello YouTubers, here we go with the big question of the day. When is a lie not a lie? I've got here a packet of Freddy's made by Nestle. It's a breakfast cereal for those who don't know it. And on the back it says, did you know, there we are, did you know Shreddies are knitted by Nanas? My question is, clearly this is a fabrication. I don't suppose they've got a string of 17, 80 year old women knitting shreddies. Let me show you one in from the packet. Uh, I have nothing against shreddies. Uh, clearly I have a packet in my hand, it means I do eat them. There is a shreddy. Have a look close up. Can you imagine anybody knitting it? Why is it okay for a multinational company like Nestle to tell a lie on their pack? Now, if this is not a lie, and if these are genuinely knitted by little old ladies, then I am perfectly prepared, at Nestle's expense, to go on every major television channel in the world and apologise publicly. I will eat and even eat shreddies in front of people to show how good they are. My question is this, how acceptable is it for lies to take place in advertising, especially when the law, certainly in the UK, says that you should not present a false impression of your product. So when is a lie a lie? When is a lie comedy? And who judges the crossover between comedy and deception? Okay, has anybody else got out there got any other examples? Uh, there must be more to life uh, than uh, in, the, in the world of advertising than knitting nanas. So let's hear from you. What other deceptions have you come across? And um, let's just work out whether it's acceptable or not. Okay, it adds a bit of fun to life, that is undeniable. But uh, the issue is, where does deception cross over from comedy? Thank you very much for listening.